Hello, my name is Cutler Cleveland. I'm the Chief Education Officer for Trinity. I also am a professor in the Department of Earth and Environment at Boston University, where I teach undergraduate and graduate classes in the energy and environmental sciences. I've written a range of textbooks and reference works for publishers such as McGraw-Hill, Wiley, and Elsevier. Most importantly, as it relates to this webinar, I have written several digital textbooks and published other course content on the Trinity eLearning platform and use that content in all my classes at Boston University. Here's what I'd like to cover in today's webinar. First, I'd like to talk about the vision for an HMH Trinity partnership. Then I'm going to walk through the features of the Trinity eLearning platform and discuss them in the context of the user experience, teachers, students, and schools. Then we'll move online to an actual demonstration of HMH content on the Trinity eLearning platform and then turn to any questions that you have. Today's students have grown up completely immersed in technology. The iPad, the iPod, Galaxy Tab, laptop, smartphones, these are the ways students interact with their world. They need a textbook made for the way they learn. We need to go beyond the printed page. We need to go beyond the traditional ebook. Together, HMH and Trinity offer a compelling solution to this challenge. HMH content on the Trinity eLearning platform is a gorgeous full screen experience full of text, interactive diagrams, photos, and videos that engage students and draws them into the content. How does one produce content like this? The Trinity eLearning platform using cloud-based technology seamlessly integrates content creation, digital textbooks, and courseware solutions. The platform integrates three important functions. Trinity Author enables instructors, authors, schools, and publishers to easily create, publish, and update any form of text, video, animation, photos, or graphics in real time. Trinity Classroom enables instructors and schools to customize content, effortlessly deliver assignments, assess student understanding, and manage courses. Trinity Reader leverages the power of the web to engage students and other users with dynamic, rich media content and online collaboration. And all this is available anywhere, anytime, on any device using the Trinity Mobile platform. Here's how it works. All content is stored in the cloud. Here you see some titles on the Trinity eLearning platform, including a couple of HMH titles. When connected to the web, a student can access content on any device using any operating system and any browser. Not connected to the web? No problem. A student can download her entire book, selected chapters, or even selected lessons within a chapter to her tablet for offline use. That experience includes all rich media. When the student reconnects to the web, she is alerted if updates have been made to the content. Let's look at the value proposition for students, teachers, and schools. Students benefit from inspiring content that includes interactive, rich media. They have a unique username and password to all HMH content, and they can personalize their content with highlighting, note-taking, bookmarks, and their own personal bookshelf. The platform has a powerful and customizable search function and, as I've already mentioned, students can access content online and offline via the Trinity mobile app. And content is always up to date. Students receive alerts from teachers, authors, and schools when new content is available. Teachers benefit from an all-in-one experience. The Trinity eLearning platform is a single application to organize and access content communicate with students, and administer their class. All content related to their book and their course is in a single site. No more multiple sites to access content requiring and remembering multiple passwords and login IDs. Instructors and in schools can customize content by adding their own content and defining the learning sequence. Real-time updates 
enable content revisions by instru authors, instructors, and schools to be pushed in real time to students. And the platform has a wide range of assessment and course management tools. Schools benefit from enhanced learning, engaging, interactive, flexible, personalized, searchable, and accessible content that is available online and offline. The platform provides a very quick and cost-effective way for schools to review content and to receive updates from the publisher. Delivery is instantaneous once an order is placed, and the platform enables a very quick and cost-effective way to get content in the hands of teachers and students quickly and efficiently. There are zero storage costs because the product is virtual. Schools can also leverage their own content and create a single shared repository for all the content created by their schools and their teachers. The platform is very secure with a single unique sign-on for each user. With that background in mind, let's now turn to an actual demonstration of HMH content on the Trinity eLearning platform. For that, let's go to the web. I am now online at the Holt McDougall Chemistry Textbook. The book has 23 chapters. Note that the chapters spill down the page. The chapter titles are active links. Clicking one takes you to that chapter. Clicking on the arrow symbol next to a chapter reveals the content of that chapter. The table of contents in the left navigation appears on every page, enabling the user to easily move from chapter to chapter. The textbook has an interactive glossary. Clicking the glossary tab reveals the glossary for the entire book. Searching for a term returns the words or phrases that contain that term. A powerful search engine makes it easier to find the content that you want. Let's search for that same term, hydrolysis. On the left, I can organize the search results by a number of filters. Clicking on a search result takes me to the page where the term is found. In this case, we are brought to chapter 18, which concerns acid, bases, and salts. Let's look at the student experience in more detail by diving into some content. Here I'm going to go to chapter 11 on gases. The content sequence of the chapter reveals that it contains a variety of content, text, videos, virtual labs, and animations. This illustrates the power of the HMH Trinity Partnership, an all-in-one experience. The rich media you see here resides in Think Central and MyHMD. With a print book or traditional ebook, a student would have to navigate to a separate website, enter their username and password, find their way to the desired piece of content, and then play it. Here the content is integrated directly into the flow of the chapter. Let's see how this works. The first piece of content happens to be a video. The video portion of this will work well. Due to the nature of the webinar recording software, you won't be able to hear the audio very well, but trust me, it works just fine. You move through the content sequence by clicking on the forward and back navigation arrows in the right margin. Here we have the next section, which begins the text of the chapter. A student reads the content by simply scrolling down through the content. The dark blue terms are glossary terms. Clicking on the term reveals the definition for that term. I'll move through some pieces of content here. Here we have an article on the gas laws. Again, I have the glossary terms available. A section on the application of gas laws to scuba diving. And then we come to another piece of rich media. In this case, it happens to be a sample problem delivered by someone you might recognize, Michael DiSpizio, a very well-known HMH author and science educator.
The next piece of content happens to be some historical information on famous chemists and their relation to modern chemistry, the ideal gas law, and gas volumes. Here I'll take a moment to demonstrate some of the personalization tools available to students. If I select a string of text, I have the ability to annotate it and add a note. So here I will add a personal note. And when I click Save, you'll see that that string of text is highlighted. And if I roll over the text, my note is revealed. Clicking on the annotation allows me to either modify it or delete it. Going up to the very top navigation bar, I also have the ability to bookmark pages. So here, wherever I go in the book, I can click on this link and it will bring me back to this page. This enables me to keep track of very important pages. I also have access to my personal bookshelf, which has all my content. I have the ability to send messages to other students and the teacher, and also the ability to, to create a personal profile. Let's keep moving through the content now. Here's another piece of rich media on ideal gas behavior. Again, another sample problem with Michael Despizio. You can see the integration of rich media directly into the learning experience here. Well, I think that provides a quick overview and gives you a sense of what the student experience is like. So here we have been online using a web browser. What about the offline experience? What I'd like to do now is take you to a little tour of the Trinity mobile app and what the experience is of the student when they don't have access to the web. Through Trinity Mobile, our app for tablets, students have access to their content 24-7, both on and offline. Through any device, students enjoy a dynamic, full-screen experience, easily navigating the table of contents, jumping to any section of their course book, flipping from section to section, scrolling through pages, they can view one-click glossary terms of strategic vocabulary Highlight text and take notes for later. As well, they will enjoy engaging and interactive resources such as videos and virtual labs, analyze samples from the meteorite using the mass spectrometer to determine which minerals they are. Drag the sample to the balance to get its mass. Differentiated instruction Acids and bases form hydronium ions and problem-solving support. Interactive demonstrations, assessments, and review games. With our Trinity mobile app for tablets, students can easily take these resources offline individual modules, chapters, or their entire course book as needed to ensure it continues to be there for them even when the internet is not. I want to talk to, to now about customization. Even if it's an HMH title, any single textbook rarely has all the content an instructor wants to cover in their class. 
it's easy to add your own content to this digital textbook. Here we are back at chapter 11 on gases in our chemistry textbook. First of all, note that there are additional resources here available for teachers. I am now logged in as a teacher and now have access to content that students do not have available to them. For example, notice that there is a section here on teacher resources. And here, this includes teacher edition pages, PowerPoints, answers to exams, and so on. We also have available additional material, which includes a lot of the supplementary material, particularly the rich media, that isn't integrated directly into the flow of the text. So one of the things you can do as an instructor or as a school is change the sequence of content. To do that, I'm going to scroll up here, and notice here is an editing cog. This is available because I'm logged in as a teacher. Clicking on that gives me some tools that I can use to customize content, one of which is to change the content sequence. So clicking on this reveals the content in the chapter, and through simple drag and drop, I can change the order of the content. So for example, let's say I wanted to start out the chapter with the story about the application of gas laws to scuba diving. There's a way to draw students into the content. I can simply drag that up to first in line and click Save Order. And now my content has been rearranged. Notice that the video, the section on scuba diving and gas laws is now first in line. So this is a powerful way to order content in a way that suits your particular teaching needs. And you can do this on any page in the text. Okay, what about adding content? Let's say that I have some uh, lecture notes on the gas laws, the subject of this chapter, that I use and I want to use to help frame this discussion. I'm going to go up here to the top left and click Add Content. In this case, I'm going to add a simple text article. This reveals a simple web text editor, similar to what you'd see in Microsoft Word or other web editing programs. I can type content directly into the box and format it in a variety of different ways. I can also do things like add links, add glossary terms, add videos, spreadsheets, tables, special symbols, and equations. Powerful, but very simple to use. So let's say that I have my lecture notes already written up in a word processing software like Microsoft Word. So I'm going to open this document, and here you can see my lecture notes on gas laws. Notice that it has formatting, bold, bullets, hyperlinks, italics, and so on. I'm simply going to copy all this, close the document, and go back to my new article that I'm creating, and choose the tool that says Paste from Word. I'm going to paste that in there, and it adds the content, retaining almost all the formatting in the original Word document. I can choose where I want to put it by pick, choosing classification, which reveals the different chapters. And here it is in my chapter 11 uh, where I want it, which is the default since I'm already in that chapter. And I click Create. Oh, it reminds me that I didn't give it a title. So I'm going to title uh, Lecture Notes on Gases. Click Create, and I can make it immediately available to students. And there's my lecture notes. And again, notice that the format has been retained, including the hyperlink that I have. If I go back to my landing page for my chapter, I see that it has been added by default to the bottom of my learning sequence. And again, I can change that sequence if I want this to be available to students at the beginning of the learning sequence where they can go back and refer to it. I can simply drag this up to uh, the beginning of the learning sequence and students then have it. Click Close. 
And there we have. Now my lecture notes are first in the learning sequence. What about videos? I can also add, easily add videos. We support videos uh, from any of the major video hosting platforms as well as any original videos that an instructor or school has developed on their own. Go back up here to the top left, click Add Video. And let's say in this particular case, I have a video uh, that I found on YouTube. A lot of great educational content on YouTube. And this happens to be a video uh, on the ideal gas law. And I'll show you a little bit of it here. Again, I, you can't hear the video due to the web software, but it's a great video. Okay, so in the case of a YouTube video, all I have to do is copy the identifier from the URL and go back to my add a video format, give it a title, call it a gas law video, and simply paste the video ID into this field. I could also add a descriptor for the students if I wanted to give them some additional information about what, what they should do with the video. Again, choose classification. It's already in my gases chapter because that's where I am. And I simply click publish. And now I've created a video, which the students have available and can play online. And again, I could put it in the learning sequence where I want it. By default, it's placed at the bottom of the learning sequence. There it is at the bottom. But again, I could drag and drop that and place it anywhere that I want. So these are a couple of simple examples, which shows you how easy it is for schools or instructors to personalize or localize their content with their own material. The Trinity eLearning platform has a learning management system that enables instructors who adopt a book to create quizzes and assignments and to communicate with their class. This feature allows instructors to convert your digital textbook into their digital classroom. Let's first look at assignments. Here I am logged in as a student and I'm back in chapter 11. And in the middle of the chapter there's an assignment the instructor has placed in the learning sequence. When I reach that page I can read the assignment and what I'm supposed to do. And then I see the question that I'm supposed to answer. I can then submit my answers online in two ways. First, I can use a text editor to directly enter my example, my answer online, or I can do it offline in a Word document and upload it. When I'm ready, I click Save New Submission, and it's automatically entered into the gradebook for the instructor to answer. And here you can see that this assignment has already been graded and given a grade of 48 out of 50. And there's some feedback provided by the teacher. After I save a submission, if I go up to my gradebook, I'm up here in the top left navigation, and click gradebook, I can see my personal grades. And here you can see the assignment, the score, and the total number of points. What about the perspective from the teacher? To show that, I'm going to pull up another browser with the same chapter, but here I'm logged in as a teacher. When I look at the assignment from a teacher perspective, I see all the submissions that have been made by my class. I can click on any one of them and read their submission or open the file that they've uploaded, assess it, provide some feedback, and then give it give that assignment a grade. Teachers also have a grade book where all the grades for the entire class, all the students and all the assignments that have been entered are available. And so here's my class list, and it gives me the exams and the assignments and their particular scores. I can click on one right from the gradebook, 
for a student, find the grade that I gave her, the comments that I made, and also look at her submission. So that's assignments. What about quizzes and exams? Instructors can create quizzes and exams using test banks provided by the textbook publisher or create their own question pools using a wide range of supported question types. Similar to, similar to adding other content, quizzes and exams are created by this, clicking on the Add Content menu up here in the top left, and then choosing Exams or Question Pools. From here, instructors can choose from a wide range of question types, including multiple choice, true, false, essays, and so on, and manually build their own question pools. They can also choose to have it automatically entered into the gradebook. Instructors may choose to place quizzes and exams within a dedicated assessment section within each chapter, or perhaps they prefer to place them in the appropriate content sequence so that their students encounter the assessments in the correct portion of that sequence. So let's look at some examples of this that I've already created. If we go back to chapter 11, now I'm again, I'm logged in here as an instructor. And here's a question pool that I've created, which includes, in this case, showing the correct answers. Some true faults, multiple choice, short answer. If I go up to my editing cog and click edit content, I can then edit the question pool. Here it shows me the questions that I've already developed. I can edit those or I can add new questions. Let's look at this from the student perspective. So I'll switch browsers here and go to my student view, navigate to, back to chapter 11. And here I see the quiz embedded in my learning sequence. And I can take that quiz online. Here, the quiz has already been completed for illustrative purposes, and the correct answers are shown to the student, giving them feedback and the right questions, the right answers to the questions. And again, I can go up to my gradebook and view my grade for the quiz and any comments or feedback that the instructor has given to me. In this way, the Trinity eLearning platform enables you to build assessment right into the flow of your digital textbook turning the textbook into an overall classroom experience. This brings our webinar to a close. I hope that you have found it informative. Here are some takeaway points. One of the key elements of the Trinity HMH value proposition is its ability to deliver enhanced personalized learning. Rich media and assessment are integrated directly into the content and student, students can personalize their content in many ways. There's a single destination for all content, making it easier for schools and instructors to find, organize, and deliver content. Schools and instructors can also customize the content to meet their personal teaching needs. We provide online and offline access, and that offline access includes all the rich media that students enjoy online. The platform enables rapid and very cost-effective fulfillment and distribution, and we have secure access with a single sign-on for all students. I'll leave you with some information on where to go for more information on the platform and the HMH content on the platform. Our YouTube channel has this video, plus a lot of additional video which delves deeper into the experience that I've shown here. And my email is shown here. Feel free to contact me with any questions. I'd be happy to talk to you. Thanks again for listening and watching.